Hey everyone, it's my birthday today. I just want to talk about some things that I've learned over the years. I'm 19 now, and I think that I've learned quite a lot of valuable lessons in my life. Normally, the video is like 19 things I've learned in 19 years and all that stuff, but I just thought that 9 would work just fine. Number 1 might sound like a cliche, but it's one of the most important things that I've ever learned and it's like I didn't really learn it I've always been like this, but it's just keep dreaming Strive for Greatness strive for something that will make your heart cry happy tears Don't strive for something nice strive for something wonderful and have hope that is gonna happen you know, there are so many big dreams that you could maybe have. So many dreams that you feel like are very close to impossible, but they might be. But very close to impossible doesn't mean impossible. And it's gonna take a long time. It certainly is. But it's gonna come true eventually if you never give up. <laughs> and if you just keep dreaming and keep fighting for it if you can, it's gonna happen and you know there are so many things that I spent so long waiting for and so many things I'm still waiting for but it's it will come that moment will come waiting sucks waiting for things you want is difficult and you know if you've been working really hard for a long time and it's still not happening it sucks it hurts because you feel like your hard work isn't paying off but it will be worth it in the end even though it might not look like it for a while it's gonna be worth it just keep fighting for it and keep dreaming and don't lose hope number two is another one that's gonna sound like a cliche be whoever you want to be no matter how different that might be that rhymed <laughs> oh my god <laughs> you are a wonderful person and you are good enough and you might not see that right now. You might feel like you're not loved, like you're not worth anything great. Like you don't deserve to be happy, like you don't deserve to love yourself, you don't deserve love. And if you feel that way, I'm so sorry that you do because it sucks. But you don't have to feel like this forever because you're an amazing person and you're not perfect, but that doesn't matter. And if someone, if some people in your life, or just society in general, has made you feel like who you are isn't enough, it is. And you shouldn't change who you are to be accepted. Because those people who matter will love you for whoever you are. And those who won't love you for whoever you are don't deserve to be your friends. Don't deserve to be in your life. Don't let them make you feel like you have to change change anything about you only if you want to don't change for anyone else because they will never be if someone's not happy with who you are now chances are they're not even going to be happy with whoever you change to be to be liked by that person or those people and so be whoever you want to be live the life you want to live and if ever you feel really really terrible and you feel like you're a piece of shit Try to imagine if someone else was like you, in any way, if someone else was like you, would you hate them? Would you tell them that they're not worthy of love and that they don't deserve anything great in life? I think that you wouldn't, and chances are you would think that you'd love that person, you know, and be kind to yourself because I know it's hard. You deserve kindness and love. And even if some people or other people might not give that to you, you need to give that to yourself because you deserve that love and care. Number three is go for it even when you're afraid. <laughs> with me, in my case, this works with all the things that I've done and like YouTube or writing books in a certain way or anything, like being myself truly. A lot of shit in life is terrifying. Putting yourself out there in any way is terrifying. There's so much to be afraid of in life. 
When you decide to be brave, and you decide to go for it, even though you're absolutely fucking terrified, it's gonna be the most beautiful thing in the universe, because if there's something you want, and it scares the shit out of you, do it. Because it will be so worth it, and you will not regret it. The only thing that you would ever regret is if you just got lost in that fear and let it stop you. So don't let the fear stop you. Don't let the fear keep you from living the life of your dreams. The things we worry about are for absolutely fine. Just think about it. Most of the time that you freak out about something, anything that it might be, it's pretty much always fine. It ends up being okay and sometimes it ends up being absolutely fucking chill or even awesome. And so it's okay if you're afraid, it's absolutely normal, but just be brave and do it even though you're afraid because everything's gonna be fine and you're not gonna regret doing something that will make you happy even though it's terrifying. It will be worth it. Number four is don't stand in the way of your greatness. Stop stopping yourself. Stop finding excuses. Stop telling yourself that like you can't do something because of this, because of that, because of this and that. Sure, there are so many things in life that we can't control, so many obstacles that aren't in our hands. No matter what that might be, if it's money, family, where we live, whatever it might be, so often we are the obstacle. We are the thing that is standing in our way and why? Again, it's either because we're afraid. Most of the time it's because we're afraid or we just, we're lazy or, you know, it's easier to not do that thing. Like, sure, it would be easier if I just kept binge watching TV shows and never wrote any books because reading them is much easier than writing them. But I want to write books. I want people to read them for so many reasons and so no, I'm not gonna just keep telling myself that I'll write tomorrow. I'll write right after I film this fucking video because I want to write the books. I'm not gonna keep myself from doing things that will bring me so much joy and hopefully other people as well. I am done with standing in my own way and you should do the same thing because sure, again, it won't always work. But there are so many things that we don't do just because we stand in our own way. Get out of your own way and do shit that's gonna make you fucking happy. Number five, do as much of what you love as possible. I feel like so many people don't do this and I know this isn't always possible because we have to go to work, we have to go to school, and we can't always do what we love for work. And I get that, of course. That kind of sucks and that's just a part of life, but in your spare time, which is hopefully as much as possible, do what you love. Don't waste your time on shit that doesn't bring you joy, especially if it's the opposite, if it makes you feel like shit. Stop spending so, so much time on social media and just watching TV and just doing shit. Like, if that makes you happy, then of course keep doing that, but chances, chances are it doesn't. And there might be so many things that you feel like you don't have time for, but you might have time if you stop wasting your time. We're human, which means we're tempted to do things that are easy. We're tempted to be lazy and just do things that are easier. Because why would we do the more difficult thing? But most of the time the more difficult thing is the better thing because in the end it's going to be much more worth our time and it's going to make us much happier than the, the um, opposite, you know? <laughs> your time won't be wasted. Your life won't be wasted. And you will really live. You won't just survive, but you will feel alive because of all the love that you'll put in your life with all the things that you love doing. Number six is a diff difficult one as well. I don't know. Try to see the good in everything. I hate, I hate school. I'm out of high school now, finally, thank God. Uh, <laughs> uh, but... I hated school for so long, you know, like 13 years of my life, or I don't know how long. I hated school, and sure, I could have just focused on all the shit that I hated there, 
but it would have made it so much worse. It would have made it so difficult and I don't know how I would have survived, but I decided to focus on the things that I didn't hate about it. I decided to focus on spending time with people that I cared about or with my best friend, being able to see her every day. And I focused on the good things at school, no matter how little or stupid they might have been. Shit sucks sometimes, you know? Like, there will, will be times when you don't have the energy and the, the, the want to see the good in something because it just sucks so much, and that's fine. It's just, again, a part of life. But just when you try to see the good in everything or just in more things and try to look at life in a more positive way, it will change your life. Number seven <laughs> is be honest and straightforward. Say what's in your mind. Like, no, that's not necessarily a good idea a lot of the time, but be honest with the people you love and just, if you have feelings for someone, tell them. If you just like have a problem with something and you just feel bad about something, just talk about it. Communication is key in all kinds of relationships and I just, I always praise the importance of words and conversations. Don't hold back your emotions and just express yourself. And I don't know if any of this makes sense, but I hope it does. Number eight, love with everything you've got. Again, life is so short and I know that when you love people, no matter in what way it is, it fucking hurts when something goes wrong. It does. But you can never know what's gonna happen. But, you know, it is so much better to love with everything you have, and sure, then you might lose that person, and it will hurt as fuck. But all that, you will still have the memories of all the love, and you'll know that you gave that relationship everything you had. And that's so much better than being hurt just a tiny little bit less, and knowing that you didn't give that relationship everything you had. You didn't really love that person that much, or like you held yourself back. And that sucks. And so just love with all your heart. And it's not just people. It's just everything. Just get lost in it and love with everything. Love fearlessly and just let your heart feel all that love. <laughs> and lastly, don't think about life too much. Don't take life so seriously and just follow your heart. I'm a very strong heart follower and I know that not all people work that way. And I know that it's just not everyone is ever going to work that way. And that's absolutely fine, of course. And it's, yeah. But <laughs> even if you're more of a mind-brain person and you just make rational decisions and stuff like that, just don't take life so seriously. You know, we are all human. We're all trying to live our best lives. We're all just living on this planet together and... You know, humans have made life quite complicated, because, you know, look at animals. All they do is just keep surviving and, like, chill with their families and try to eat and sleep and all that shit. And we do so much more, and that is beautiful, but, like, in the end, we should just be grateful that we're alive, living on this great planet, and just have fun, you know? like. Yeah, life is difficult, and it's just always going to be because of all the shit like taxes, money, work, school, whatever it might be, but just enjoy life. We have to make the most of every second we have on this great planet. It's not perfect, humans are not perfect, life is not perfect, but it's pretty fucking beautiful. And we gotta make the most of every second, so that is is all I want to share with you today. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope it was at least a tiny bit inspiring and that's gonna be it. I'm gonna see you soon in another video and I hope you have a brilliant day. I love you and that's it. <laughs> see you soon and yes. <laughs> Bye!